What's up YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick video and share what I think is the most efficient way to grow broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts have some of the most concentrated amounts of sulforaphane of any food. What is sulforaphane? It is one of the most potent antioxidants we have available to us and it can cure or help cure a wide range of diseases. Broccoli sprouts have a lot of benefits. I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. Rhonda Patrick has a much be better video on the topic and I'll link that in the description below. Suffice it to say, it's the closest thing we have to a panacea that I've seen. So why make this video? There's a lot of videos on YouTube covering this same topic, but I feel like all of them make the process more in intensive, uh, more drawn out, and requiring more work than it really needs to be. I've refined these processes down into what I think is the simplest and most efficient method. With just two mason jars, you should be able to grow enough broccoli sprouts to eat them almost daily for anywhere from two weeks to a month. So what do we need? First, we need two normal mason jars and you're either going to make or buy a plastic mesh lid. Next, you need broccoli sprout seeds. I got these off Amazon. You can get them at local health food markets too. Our first step is to take and pour the broccoli sprouts into the mason jar. Many of the videos out there, they only want you to put two to four tablespoons of broccoli sprout seeds, but we're gonna put about half an inch in the mason jar. What this is gonna allow us to do is grow more broccoli sprouts and take less time. So why is this superior? Well. Each broccoli sprout seed starts off with the same amount of sulforaphane. It only diminishes over time or gets diluted by plant matter. Next, we're going to fill the jars about halfway up with filtered water. We're going to let them sit 24 hours, don't touch them, don't do anything. I just leave them on top of my counter. After 24 hours, we're going to pour the water out, fill it up with water again, and pour that out. We're going to do this rinsing process twice a day for the next three to four days. We're gonna fill it halfway full of filtered water, then turn it upside down and let all the water drain out. I like to give it a few shakes after this just to make sure all the loose water is out. Our goal by the end of three to four days is to have the jar completely packed full of broccoli sprouts. None of them should be very large or have green leaves. They should be rather small and have yellow leaves, but all the seeds should be sprouted. And that's our goal. The seeds by themselves are very hard to consume. It is possible to consume them like that, but you have to grind them up and they're really nasty to eat. So when the jar is completely full of broccoli sprouts and you decide it's time to stop growing them, you're gonna stop watering them for anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. And this is gonna dry them out. Once the sprouts are fairly dry, you're gonna take them and put them straight into a double Ziploc bag. These are gonna go right in the freezer and we're gonna freeze them. Freezing them lets you keep them almost indefinitely. And not only that, but some studies indicate that it actually increases the avail available sulforaphane. So when you're ready to eat them, we're gonna take them out of the freezer and you're gonna take however many you wanna eat. I eat about half of a cup at a time. Put it in a blender and put a couple ounces of water just enough to be able to blend. You're gonna blend it on high until it's kind of a mush and let it sit for a few minutes. Now it's important you don't put anything in the blender other than just a little bit of water because the plant matter, when it's broken, has to form the sulforaphane. If you put something else in it, it might slow down or stop that reaction. So after you've let this mixture sit a couple minutes, you can add whatever you want. I like adding either protein powder or frozen blueberries or frozen bananas or sometimes a mixture of all three. This kind of almost turns into an ice cream. That's about it. Let me know if you all have any more tips or enhancements or recipes and leave it in the comments below. Thanks.